Why did that teacher get fired from your school? Content warning. S abuse slash statutory R. Story one. We had a study hall teacher that was super chill. Everyone loved her. She always let us listen to our iPods, even though it was against school policy. One day, these two dudes were busted by her doing a deal on some pot. These two had a record and would have been arrested and tried as adults since they were both 18. We were in our last year of school. Rather than report it, she decided to throw it away and not make a deal of it. Done and over. Well, turns out the school B that no one liked saw the whole thing. B reported it, got the study hall teacher fired, the entire school went on strike, and wore shirts to support getting her rehired. It didn't happen, but we effing tried. Story 2. When I was in 8th grade, my science teacher was a man who was, for lack of a better term, an utter douche nozzle. He was fresh out of some graduate degree or another and clearly believed himself to be the smartest, funniest, and best-liked entity since George Carlin's run as Mr. Conductor. Worse still, a handful of students seemed to agree with that self-assessment, and the appreciative responses he'd receive only served to further inflate his ego. Now, lest you think that I simply don't like this teacher, and as much am treating him unfairly, let me assure you that while you're right, I didn't like him, he was also something of a psychopath. The man would frequently go to great lengths to ensure that students who didn't suck up to him were punished. There was one young woman, for example, who made the mistake of correcting the teacher during a lecture. When her next test rolled around, the girl discovered that she'd received a failing grade, despite the fact that she'd offered nearly identical answers as someone who had passed. Perhaps the most cruel treatment I saw from this fellow, though, came in the aftermath of that mistreatment. The same girl, having found that she'd flunked her test, approached the teacher. She spoke to him in a quiet, polite voice, and although I can't make out what was being said, it seemed like she was asking to have her grade changed. The teacher's face adopted a twisted, sardonic smile, and he responded loudly enough for everyone to hear, Well, I guess you don't know everything, do you? The young woman replied with hurried whispers. Even when seen from behind, it was clear that she was losing her composure. I guess you should have studied harder. Maybe you'll learn you're not always right. More whispers followed, though the girl's words became almost inaudible. She said something about needing a passing grade and asked how her score could have been so much different from someone who'd offered similar answers. In response, the teacher just laughed. The girl walked back to her desk, tears clearly visible in her eyes, and the teacher kept laughing. Fortunately, there's a happy ending to all of this. See, that teacher offered unfair treatment to a few too many students, myself included, and we managed to independently amass a fair amount of evidence against him. I'll never know for sure if our investigations were the deciding factor in this, but I do know that he didn't return to that school the following year. Too long didn't read, my 8th grade science teacher liked to stroke his ego with the tears of young women. There is definitely a certain type of person who almost seems to become a teacher not out of some desire to teach people, but to lord their superiority over them. Those people need to be put in their place, and preferably that place is out of the job if they can't gain a little humility. Story 3. When I was in grade 10, I had this amazing teacher. He would let us do anything. My school had a strict no-eating policy, but he didn't give a crap, so we would eat like candy and stuff. One day, I was sitting down in the first class of the morning, and I missed breakfast, so I decided to bring one of those small packs of Frosted Flakes, a bowl, and some milk, because I knew I had him first class. Middle of class, I sat down to eat, and the principal knocked on the door, and the teacher opened the door, and the principal saw me eating, and she flips at me. This amazing teacher decided to defend me and started saying, oh, it's his class and mind your own business and all that crap. They go in the hall and shut the door. We go silent in class and hear my teacher shout, I hope you get effing throat cancer, you stupid bee. He returns to the class right after and looks at the room full of 15-year-olds and says, be gone crazy. That was a Friday. He didn't come back Monday or Tuesday or ever. Another teacher told us he moved to Iraq to teach at a college there the week after because the school district fired him. I'm not sure if I was the one that got him fired for eating cereal in class, but he was honestly my favorite teacher ever. Story 4. I've got three. One, math teacher my sophomore year of high school. He was a nice guy, and although I didn't find him cute, a lot of the other girls did. 
Well, turns out he was inviting girls over to his house and partying with them and banging them. He wasn't fired, but the school was closing in on him, so he transferred to another school. Two, history teacher my junior year of high school, friends with teacher number one. Again, girls thought it was cute, I didn't. Unlike teacher number one, this one was married with children. He also wasn't as discreet. All the students and teachers knew what he was doing, and one of the teachers walked in on him and another student one day. After he got fired, he continued to date the student. Three, science teacher that I never had. He was always weird. He had a son a few years younger than me at the school. He married a student who graduated a year after me. There was at least a 20-year age difference, and the school just found it unacceptable to still have him working there. I feel so sorry for his son. Story 5. Had a physics teacher who locked three girls in his classroom with him and wouldn't let them leave. I also had a temp science teacher who made a homemade firework and set it off in the classroom, nearly burning half the school down. My head of year in year 10, who also taught PE, was banned from supervising girls during trampoline lessons because he would put them on report if they wore shirts under their gym skirts or didn't wear their gym skirts. An English teacher, a music teacher, and a French teacher left and didn't return after having nervous breakdowns. Second worst school in Britain, 1997. Uh, teachers who creep on these young students need to have charges pressed against them or something. I don't know if that happens or not, but in the videos where we've read about this crap, I swear most of the time I only read about them being fired. I guess age of consent laws and... Uh, I just, I don't like thinking about it. Stop being creeps, teachers. Story 6. That teacher had dirty pictures on his computer, one of which was another teacher. True story. This sort of thing is actually a very real problem with young, single, newly qualified teachers that use social media and dating sites. Some of my friends are teachers and have active Facebook lives. Dread to think what would happen if their students found that. Never mind something like Tinder. Dating sites are full of young teachers because it's so hard for teachers to meet people, and the photos are all of big nights out or certain outfits and poses. If a load of teenage boys found their 20-something female teacher there, oh boy. Story 7. Teacher didn't get fired, but we never saw him again. In about first grade, a bunch of the dads were sitting around on a Saturday drinking beer in one of the backyards. Kids got to talking about the new gym teacher who liked to pick up the little girls and turn them upside down, especially if they were wearing dresses. He'd have his favorites help get the mats out of the storeroom, and sometimes it took a really long time. One of the girls there was the gym teacher's absolute favorite, and her dad got really quiet and then took her inside the house for about 20 minutes. Kids kept playing, dads stopped drinking, he came out and said to the others, let's go. This was a small town on the Great Plains, and these men had known each other all their lives. They went. The story I heard later was that they went over to the gym teacher's place and scared the crap out of him, told him to get in his car and start driving and never come back. The guy left all his stuff and everything, and no one ever heard from him again. I was an adult before I realized what really happened. Story 8. Music teacher in high school. He was fired for not really doing his job. Guy didn't look like a hippie, but did have a whatever attitude about teaching his class. Other students used the class as a time to chill. I knocked out homework from other classes while I was in his class. He would also randomly visit other teachers while they were teaching class. It took a while for the school to decide to terminate him. The guy knew his stuff, but was more interested in acting like a free spirit or something. Story 9. He went hunting the day before, left his shotgun in the back seat of his car, and forgot about it. Security guards saw it there during school and called the cops. It was legally okay, but he got fired anyway. Story 10. I was in 7th grade, and our literature teacher showed us Romeo and Juliet, the Olivia Hussey version. There is brief, harmless nudity, but some parents freaked the F out, claimed the guy was pushing adult entertainment on us. Drama ensued, protests were initiated, and Mr. C was fired. We watched Class of the Titans, the original, in high school Latin, and there's a brief nude scene that shows the love interest's butt as she walked out of the bath. My Latin teacher proceeded to go, oh man, I wasn't paying attention, and rewound the scene. He did this, like, two or three times. Okay, so the teacher who really shouldn't have been fired was fired, and the creepy teacher who was drooling over a woman's tush in front of his students was just fine? <sighs> 
Story 11. She taught German and went on the sophomore's field trip to the Holocaust Museum. While there, the class got to hear a Holocaust survivor tell their story. Teacher stood up at this point and proceeded to tell the survivor why the Holocaust was actually a hoax and never happened. What the fire her twice? Story 12. Art teacher was out one day and his class was being taught by a sub. It happened to be a day when the students were working on their computer art project, so all the sub had to do was supervise the work. One student needed to save his work and was missing a disc. This was in the days of three and a half inch floppies. He found one just lying around and asked the sub if he could use it. Sub agreed. Sub plugged it into the computer. They found out it was the disc where the regular teacher was keeping his adult entertainment stash. The teacher was fired when he came back the next day. Story 13. It was actually our principal. She used to work at some inner city school or something and thought she could use similar tactics on us. The thing is, my school was actually a very good school. We routinely won science competitions, scored insanely high on AP tests, our top 10 students in each grade routinely went to Harvard, Yale, Caltech, etc., and so on. Granted, our dropout rate was a little high, but we didn't have any of the usual issues that plague schools. We were, by and large, good kids. The principal somehow managed to pee off all the major department heads at our school. The English head can be described as a bit, uh, sang froid. She routinely made even the biggest and toughest kids feel small despite barely being over 5'2". She wasn't hard to annoy. The math department was run by an older woman who regularly received praise slash awards for how well her students did on the Cal BC AP exams. She was investigated multiple times for cheating, but they never found anything. She was legitimately that good. She was hard to pee off, but not impossible. The history department was run by a sweet older lady whose hobbies included weightlifting. She was a genuinely nice human being beloved by everyone who had her. To pee her off required something on par with drowning puppies. Somehow, someway, my principal managed to pee all three of these people off about two months into her new position. It all came to a head around November slash December with a certain newspaper article. Well, our school newspaper was run by some of the brightest girls in the senior year. They all wanted to be legitimate journalists. One issue they printed caught the ire of the principal because it featured an article on obtaining birth control as well as something about tattoos. They broke no laws, they checked everything with their supervising teacher, The Works. Our principal decided that she wasn't having this and ordered all the printed copies of this edition to be confiscated. That month's edition was effectively banned from the school because of the articles in question. Normally this wouldn't be much of an issue, but A, she missed a few copies, and B, the girls in charge were well aware they were being censored for no good reason. When the principal declined to discuss her reason for their work being banned, they felt their First Amendment rights were being trampled and promptly contacted the ACLU. And because she had banned the paper, everyone had read it. Normally, we'd ignore the school newspaper, but now it was special. During this time, the English teachers, with the blessing of the department head, began to discuss the articles with the student body. There was much to be said about censorship and our First Amendment rights, so they latched onto it as a learning opportunity. After all, they knew we had all read the article. After the local press got a hold of the story, our school received a Jefferson Muzzle Award for suppressing free speech. We even got a blip on CNN. The school board was less than pleased with our principal. None of the major department heads stuck up for her because she managed to alienate all of them with her strong-arm techniques and general disregard for how intelligent the students were. She was gone by April. Well, I've got to say that was a pretty dumb hill to die on for that principal. Seriously, some people think they can get away with anything because they're in a position of power. Just goes to show how powerful a little media coverage can be. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Story 14. Not a teacher, but a cop at our school was fired from being the school cop. He kept his actual police job for accepting intercourse from minors instead of giving them an MIP. Insane how he was able to keep his job. Story 15. It was a math teacher in my high school. She was having an affair with one of the health teachers. All the students knew, but the faculty did not until one night. Apparently, she and the health teacher decided to meet at our local Walmart. They used his car to go up on the train tracks and parked to start messing around. A train came around and hit the vehicle. 
That's how everyone came out and our small town was shaken up from the reveals. Okay, first off, that isn't really a teacher getting fired. They were killed. And that's tragic. What they were doing was wrong, but they certainly didn't deserve that. Story 16. He called a girl a W. She was 13. He left so fast that he didn't clear out his desk, and that's how I have a key to the school. All about those silver linings. Story 17. My freshman year religion teacher was fired because his son failed a school drug test and had gotten divorced. Dude was an amazing teacher, especially when talking about art history. It's sad that your teacher was fired for something his kid did. Story 18. Kidnapped a kid and drove him to another state. Was arrested after police tracked him down and found them in a motel room. His name was Mr. Love. Story 19. We had a one-armed teacher in junior high, 8th to ninth grade. I think he taught at a shop. Anyway, he was on the elderly side, mid to late 50s, early 60s. One day, in between class, this prick jumps on his back and starts screaming and flailing around. I guess the kid thought it was funny. Well, the teacher didn't. He threw the kid off his back and pinned him against the lockers with his only arm until some other teachers came over. Well, he was fired for assaulting a student. Needless to say, that kid was a pariah for the rest of the time at that school. It's kids acting like that that was part of the reason I decided to change my major and not go into teaching. The other part is just how poorly teachers are treated by the education system and the state of schools in general. Story 20. History teacher. He used to wear a cape to class. We all called him Batman. He did so much weird crap like eating chalk, jumping on empty boxes, and standing on his desk. I think he was finally fired for walking around on top of the students' desks. We were in a big U formation and kicking a boy in the chest for breathing too loud. Story 21. 1. Banged a student. 2. Sold weed to students. 3. Liked crack. Story 22. The undesirables, the ones who were loners and didn't assimilate into middle school, well, me included, were sent off to a weekend camping trip to learn about teamwork, friendship, etc. While we were there, the EL teacher walked around nude with his gigantic schlong at half-mast. Needless to say, come Monday, he was walking off school property when word got out. Story 23. My cousin's teacher was forced to stop teaching religious studies because she told the class that when the rapture came and all life was wiped out, she wanted to be having intercourse with her husband on the altar of a Catholic church. Well, that just sounds bad, eh? I mean, on the grand scale of things, that isn't nearly as bad as quite a few of these. It is also just a weird thing to tell your students. It sounds like this teacher needs more friends to get high with and just talk about weird crap. Story 24. Chemistry teacher got into a heated argument with the principal over funding cuts. It escalated to the point where the teacher went to his car, pulled out the infant car seat in the back, thankfully empty, and used it to smash the principal's car window. Story 25. I had a chemistry teacher that called me out in the middle of class for putting a hex on his family. The guy literally blamed me for his kids getting sick and having to go to the hospital. He did this in front of the entire class. I told the assistant principal in the next semester he was fired. Story 26. A girl accused him of molesting her, and by the time she admitted she was lying, it was too late. That's pretty effed. Story 27. Back in high school over 10 years ago, two teachers got fired while I was there. One was a Spanish teacher. She was okay for a late 30s chick. She got caught effing two male students at once. Had another female teacher that was in her mid-twenties. She was pretty good looking. She was one of the cheerleader coaches. Apparently she was having after-school specials with many of the cheerleaders and other girls who weren't on the team. Everyone then realized why not a single guy ever got anywhere with her. Teachers, I don't care what your gender or preference is, how close an age to the students you might be, or even if those students are 18. You're in a position of authority over them, so leave them the F alone. You have an amount of power over students that will literally always call consent into question. Story 28. A special ed teacher would take about five of her kids out of class at random times every week. It's not out of the ordinary, as some of them need medication every so often. However, the school eventually noticed that on her public Facebook page, she was posting pictures of those students. They were in her car with her, smoking joints, ripping bongs, and doing dabs. To boot, they were all timestamped during school hours. She got fired very quickly. None of the students ever got in trouble, though. 
Story 29. I had a French teacher in high school who was insane and would bang her 7-inch heels on desks all the time. She got fired when she was accused of throwing her heel at a student. Some students protested against the firing, but I hated her, so I was happy to see her go. Story 30. High school English teacher showed up to class drunk and started talking about her boobs and how men like them. Asked the male students if they wanted to touch them or something to that effect. When administrators found out, they urged her to resign instead of fighting and bringing attention to it. She agreed. Story 31. History teacher also coached a wrestling team. Apparently, at a party, some of the wrestlers shoved a broomstick up another smaller, geekier, etc. wrestler's butt. Teacher slash coach heard about it and didn't do anything. Parents found out, sued all over the news, got fired, and moved out of state. Story 32. My social studies got fired for having intercourse with the lunch lady in the parking lot. She looked exactly like lunch ladies are pictured in movies, too. Story 33. Eighth grade history teacher was discovered to be having an affair with one of his former students. The affair started when she was 14 and wasn't discovered until she was 18. Somehow or another, he was asked if he thought it was appropriate to have this relationship. He responded something to the effect of, If this were biblical times, I would have married her by now. <laughs> gross! If this were biblical times, you gross old man, I hope to God you went to jail. If not that, because I know some states have some buck-wild ages of consent, and then at the very least I hope that the woman realizes you are the kind of person interested in children and left you. Story 34. One of the coaches hit a band member with the side of their bus. This was just after the football team lost, and the coach yelled for everyone to shut up while he just continued driving. When they arrived back at the school, the coach told all the players to not tell anyone what had just happened. Story 35. He asked the Sikh, not even Muslim, student of our class if he was going to plant a bomb when the student asked to go to the toilet. This was after 9-11, even though I lived in the UK. Story 36. Turns out banging students is frowned upon. Story 37. He drew a giant penis on a whiteboard after it got public that he was gay. I mean, that's the first thing I'd do too. Story 38. A math teacher at my old high school got fired for having a relationship with one of the female students. He also kept a real chainsaw in the classroom. Not sure why. Also, there was a French teacher who would record all of his classes and take the recordings home so he could watch them privately. Ugh. Story 39. There was a math slash history teacher who was a younger guy and a little bit edgy. He'd make jokes that kind of towed the line, as it were, but for the most part, everything was okay. Except for the time he made a joke about ovens to a sensitive Jewish kid, and then he disappeared right at the end of the semester. I'm sorry, but I don't feel bad for that teacher. Yeah, joke with your students. Maybe even poke fun a little with the ones you know are okay with it. It's a way to make a connection, but there are some pretty obvious lines. Story 40. The headmaster and chemistry teacher got caught during the summer holidays. Some people were in for a revision day, and they heard moaning coming from the headmaster's office. The video basically went viral. They were both married, two different people. Both promptly fired and single now, I presume. Story 41. He wrote URLs in the back of the science textbooks that linked to him in some gay adult entertainment videos. Story 42. I went to a Catholic high school, and our chaplain was fired because he aired an 11-year-old boy. He ended up hanging himself. Story 43. Religious school. Unmarried teacher got fired for getting pregnant. I'm sorry, F that school. Oh, you're a religious school? Oh, jeez, if only your religion taught anything about forgiveness and understanding. Story 44. There was a substitute teacher subbing for my health class, an older man in his 60s in 7th grade, and we were being rowdy and unruly, and he screams, If you were my kids, I would beat and abuse you all. And some kid ran out of the room to the principal's office and told him what the guy said, and he was fired on the spot by the school admin. Story 45. The special needs teacher slept with a special needs student for a couple years. She moved from middle school to high school to stay with him and keep it going. They got caught eventually, and she got canned real quick. Also, the kid's mom was a bus driver that worked at the school. I think they had to switch sub-districts because the kid never came back and the mom didn't drive for that school anymore. Story 46. Caught watching adult entertainment on his lunch break in his classroom, a student walked in on Lock Your Doors. 
Story 47. Downloaded gay adult entertainment on a pay-per-minute landline. The bill ran into a couple of thousand dollars. Was a nice man. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.